good with the slump music here. Um, I wanted to talk again about my um, my template setup. Um, since they did the the new update with the 2.6 and the 3.0.3 um, with the Kai Force and the NPC Live. Um, I like to use this here with the with the Kai program, but they're pretty much basing everything around um, this around Ableton, you know what I'm saying, and I'm not really like an Ableton user, which I mean, it's cool that you can link it to it and you can send out these files and everything else like that, that's, that's, everything's okay with that, because you can always, um, I use Ableton as a re, as a rewire, and I can always drop those sounds in there, and then rewire those out into Logic or whatever, but in this case, um, I want to show you how I have it hooked up to the 2.6 program. So I'm going to get started. I'm just going to open it up. And this is so I can actually still use my force with the 2.6 program and the Akai Live. Um, as you see, when I turn it on, um, I can hit play right here on the force. And it's playing on the MPC, and it's also playing on the Kai Live, and it's also on tempo. But the only thing that's different about this is, like, let's say if I hit record on the force, I can still record in there. So I hit record here, and then you hear your, you hear my you hear the metronome. Okay, sounds good. It's, it's on tempo and everything. But let's say okay. I want to go ahead and hit record on the MPC live. I hit record here. And then you hear it, it's kind of like doubled up like that. Okay. So I can easily hit stop on the force. It's gonna stop everything as well. Um to fix that right there with the MIDI and the time clock. Um, first of all, you wanna make sure that you have your force set to MIDI clock. As you see right there. And it's MIDI in and out, coming out of the force, going in and out of the Kai Live. And the Live is gonna run the USB cable to the computer and send it to the 2.6 two, the program and that's how it's going to link up. You can only control, make the, the, the force control it in standalone mode while the Kai Live is connected to the 2.6 program. It has to run through that routing system to be wired like that. But once you set it up and you have your um, your Kai Force set to MIDI clock, what you want to do is you're going to go into the Kai program and at the bottom down here, there's a tab for learn. When you click the MIDI learn button, this tab pops up right here. Now what you want to do is you want to you wanna learn it won't let you learn the record button, which you don't really need to learn the record button for that because you can, you're using the MPC Live to, to, run, to transport in and out of the DAW. So you can still rec record live into the, the, the force. But what you're going to want to do is um, when you hit the learn button up here, you'll see everything lights up right there. And pretty much you want to just hit the play button. Once you hit the play button, it's gonna learn. It's gonna learn that button right there to to play um, to play to play the part. So as you see there, now I can hit play, and it's gonna also play on tempo. It's also gonna tell the NPC to play on time. It's to say as fast as I can. I can push play and stop. It's it's it's, it's good as it's gonna. Um, it's, that's how good it's it's triggering it like actually on time. Now the, the part I was saying about um, with the with the metronome, and you're gonna 
if I wanted to hit record on this one too and you hear the devil right there now to fix that right there only thing you have to do is it's doing it because you're running like both sequencers and they're not really synced up as well as tight as they could be with a Kai but um, the way I fix it is I just go right here to prefaces and then what you want to do instead of having your output since my output is ran through the mixer on both units um, it's not able me to do that so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to end up having to reroute it to my interface and run all the cables out from the interface into the mixer but in the meantime just to fix that if you just want to it still will run through the mixer if you just change this output right here to your interface I'm using a Scarlett 18 i 20 so I want that to be on the output and the input now when I do that it's gonna minimize all the rest of the tracks so I have two tracks I have these these two tracks right here for the NPC and this is coming out from the actual doll not the unit and I got two more tracks that's coming out the doll and not the unit for the force so now they're separated and if I decided I wanted to open up logic on another screen um, I can easily just write that whole session or just print it out and then I can load those clips right into logic and everything was gonna drop right on tempo but this is the way um, it's, it's set up like this here that everything now is gonna hit play um, I show you how it works with the um, I load up a, just a demo or something. Actually, I just I try to play a short little clip and I show you how really synced up it is. Um, I got a plug in right here already plugged up. So let me see. This is also MIDI to the keyboard too. So the MIDI on the keyboard is running through the force. And when I change the tempo on the force, it's also going to change the tempo. They're not moving, but as you play it, you will hear it go slower and slower. When you change the tempo on the force, it's going to control everything. And you can also can set it to so the chromatic I always set it to like C major or something like that because that's pretty much like what my piano keys are going to be in so I, just, I can play a little simple um, something just to show you how easy it lines up It's going to start all over again from the top. Automatic. So if I want to just go ahead and jump into some drums um, on the NPC now. I can just...
now. The only thing that's different about this area now, I can still, it's writing everything from the NPC live, but it's not writing it from the, the Kai Forest. Now, this is where it's been mentioned, well, I've been mentioning it over and over and over to Akai, and this is what Akai needs. Akai needs another program that's just like the 2.6, where I can... It can first of all, it can accept third-party VS the force, so the force can accept third-party VST. Once it's able to have its own program and accept a third-party VST, I should be able to. The same way I have, I have this here routed here, I can go. I should be able to go into this two this two point six program, and if the force had its own program, I could pull that up either in the MPC as a. Um, as a VST or an AU, and it will pop up on another screen, a whole different program like machine or something, and it will control the Akai Force. And that's how you will be able to incorporate both worlds, the clip and you know all this you know performance and all this other stuff in in one unit. You know what I'm saying? And Akai could be a beast for this right here if they do it right. The only thing they gotta do is. Um, come with some type of program that I can easily go on and just open it up when I go to computer mode right here um, this is not this is not considered um, really going into a computer mode or anything by by going on to menu and then you hit this here button right here and you, you say this is computer mode okay now the difference between this computer mode and this is this is not computer mode. I mean, this is what you if this if this is what you consider co computer mode for the forest. This is this is whack. Um, it turns everything off. First of all, um, you have to map every single thing on it, and everything is not mappable. First of all, um, if I want to use, I got my DJ set right here. If I want to use this fader right here. And use it with my DJ set. I cannot map that to my DJ set. Um, this is not. This is not. This is not good when it goes into computer mode at all. Um, the way it should be is when it goes into computer mode. It should be the same way how it is when I open up the NPC program. I mean, I should be. There should be another. Um, there should be another program or something that pops up that it can actually control. I mean, I, I, you can mini map that right there to to put to push to push play on the 2.6 program, but you can't really map anything else to that. You know what I'm saying? You might map a couple of knobs. If you go into computer mode, yeah, you can map all that right there, but that's worthless of this unit of paying this much money for the unit and not being able to use it correctly. Um, what it needs is it needs it needs a third it needs to be able to accept third parties VST as well. Um, I have a seventeen hundred dollar uh, contact program, and I can use it with my NPC. But that sucks that if I wanted to just, if if the Kai Force had a program, I can use those with the actual force, and it could be a whole a whole new world. You know what I'm saying for producers. But this is slump music. This is my thoughts on the Kai Force and uh, NPC Live. And this is my MIDI setup and my template. Feel free to subscribe and hit me up on Facebook, Slump Music, Instagram, The Real Slump Music. Peace out.